They gave him the slip and they went in the garage. We saw the two big uh, limo buses come around the corner. We all pretty much figured out that was them. The fans started to scream. We looked at it. We saw the drivers. We couldn't see the members inside. They went right around the corner and into the garage. Take a look at the fans behind me this morning. They have been up since 3 o'clock this morning, out early. A lot of them left. Some of them are holding out hope that they may still catch a glimpse on the exit, that if they love them enough and they're faithful enough, that BTS will grace them with their smiling faces. Take a look at what's been going on with this. So we are BTS, yes. and we're the musical guests on SNL this weekend. K-pop band known as BTS is descending on New York City. With appearances slated for SNL, they've got an early morning push on a radio station in downtown Manhattan. Originally known as the Bulletproof Boy Scouts in Korea, they have now changed it in 2017 to mean beyond the scene. The seven-member group of 20-somethings have taken the world by storm. Sharp dance moves, slick lyrics, grabbing the attention of a faithful throng of fans known as ARMY, which stands for Adorable Representative MC for Youth. They've gotten appearances on talk shows across the U.S., even the BBC. They even spoke in front of the United Nations. But it's their lyrics that talk to loving yourself, even speaking about issues like depression and isolation and anxiety that have resonated with their fans and built a faithful following. Say, what are you going to try to do? Is this like a selfie play? Is it just to profess love? What is it? I hope I can get a selfie with them. Yeah. That would be the ultimate, right? Yeah. <laughs> Who do you love the most? Jin. <laughs> yeah, he's funny. It's just an incredible opportunity to be able to see them this close. Right. So I just, I just want to be able to be here to support them. What time did the alarm go off this morning in order to be here? At 4:45. And back out here live at the Z100 Studios, fans waiting here since the very dark and early hours of the morning, hoping to catch a glimpse of this boy band. But they chose to give them the slip. They went into the garage instead in order to keep their privacy intact. They did let, of course, millions of New York radio fans listen into them. Saturday Night Live drops tomorrow night, so fans can watch it there. Uh, speaking of things that are also dropping, they put out a brand new video at 5 o'clock this morning featuring Halsey. I am told by the fans. I haven't actually seen it yet myself. And if if you want more of this, James Ford is going to do a Facebook Live tonight at 7 o'clock with an incredible K-pop critic who knows all the ins and outs and can talk about why your kids are so crazy for BTS. We're live.